Well, at a tournament, I wanted to do well, and I really felt like I was just getting the worst card. So suddenly, you see a pair, and you make a move, like you get excited. It was stupid. I need a shovel. We are down to four players right now. We're coming back with more. Stay with us. At this final table, has over 3.8 million in chips now, and is in command. Seem like he's made a mistake all night. Short stats at this time is Tim Fan with about 600, but actions on Jake Minter was away seven deuce. Now the short stack. Tim Fan with about 600,000 in front. Well, with Ace Jack says he's going all in with it. Advance on a four-handed poker game. That's a decent hand. You're on the short stack. You're happy to get all in with that hand. No doubt about it. Now Alex right behind him. 10-6. He lays it down, of course. And Kenna James with an ace seven of clubs. Well, he has respect for Tim Fan, but he also knows he's on the short stack here, Vance. All right, how much more? He could be making a move with anything, king high, or whatnot. Kenna James has a lot of chips. He can afford to make this call. All right, I call. Oh, and he says he's going to do it. He's well, he call. is doing it. He's hoping his opponent had like king, queen, or a small pair. Nice well, this is a nice opportunity for Tim Fan to double up. Wasn't enough. I had a call. You had a call. And James trying to knock out the fan gang. Ace Jack versus Ace Seven. Well over a million two in this pot. Here comes a flop. Flop comes up Queen Nine Six. That's good for Tim Fan. His Ace Jack out in front. Now Kenna James could make a backdoor flush or a backdoor straight to win this pot as well as catch a seven. I bet you. I bet you a club comes on the turn. I bet some card comes to help my hand. All the fans on the rail rooting their man home. Here comes the turn. The eight of clubs comes off. What a card for Kenna James there. That gives him a flush draw and a straight draw. Tim Fan says, whoa, how could that card have popped off there? He still has the best hand with ace jack. If a 10 comes up, Tim Fan would have a higher straight. So that card won't help Kenna. Don't forget about that. It's all going to come down to this card, the river card. Must be a five, a seven, or a club. If it's not, Tim Fan's going to double up. Oh, a seven. Kenna James hit lightning on the river to take Tim Fan out of this tournament. Vince, he is just dialed in right now. Everything going Kenna James' way at the moment. Well, that is the lucky card of the evening. The suck out card. The magic card. This time it works for Kenna James. Well, Tim Fan's going to pick up $291,000 here in L.A. You got to give Tim Fan credit, Vance. He laid down that ace seven of clubs against Alex. It's come back to bite him. Ironically, he took an ace jack and lost to the ace seven of clubs on the river when Kenna James hit a seven. Tough luck for Tim Fan, and the fan club is heartbroken. Tim, you came in fourth place. You still made some money, but that doesn't really count, does it? It'll count tomorrow. Today is annoying. Tomorrow will count. We're down to three players. And right now, Kenna James is the chip leader. Well, running good and playing good. There's not a better combination in poker. That's what we're seeing right now out of Kenna James. He's going to be a tough man to beat here, Vince. Well, right now, the antis and blinds are going up. Antis 20,000, and the blinds are going to be 100 and 200 grand. Well, this is high stakes poker, and there certainly is a lot on the line. All three of these players vying for their first World Poker Tour title. Over a million dollars in cash. The pressure is on. Okay, action on Alex Kahana. He picks up eight five of clubs. Five hundred. And he's going to raise it, Vance. He makes it a half a million to go. He bets five hundred thousand. He's going to force the issue into Kenna James, and Kenna's got a nice little pair there, wired pair of fours. Kenna's going to call the half a million dollars. And now into Jake Minter. He also oh, has a pair of fours. Unbelievable. In a three-handed game. Now let's see what he's going to do now. now. Jake's got about one and a half million dollars. Both his opponents have over three million. He's thinking to himself, if he goes all in with this, can he drive these guys out? He's also thinking, do I need to get involved? Maybe one of these guys will knock the other one out. I can move into second place, play heads up for the title. Well, the difference is about $150,000 between third and second. I'm going to go for it. All in. Oh, all there in. he goes. He says he's going to go all in. With he's it. going all in over the top. And he 
push these guys around right now. I tell you, this is a tough call for these guys to make right here. Not easy. Going to cost them another million dollars. Where did I start? First to go is Alex. He's got the 8-5 of clubs. Alex's 000. problem, of course, is is that even if he makes this call, Kenny could come back over the top of him again. Can I take my half mil back? Alex wants his half million back. They're not giving it to me. He does go out, and now it's on Kenna. Almost $2.6 million in the pot. Call. Cost him a million to call. Yep, he's making the call. You paired up? You paired? You got it. Oh. And look, they're both relieved. They see that they have a pair of fours apiece. That means the only way either one of them can win this pot is to make a flush. If there's any justice at all in the poker world, this will be a split pot. We, we play a lot alike. <laughs> Red. Well, red, right now, red, Kenneth James red. is looking for red cards. Jake is looking for black cards. Both men very jolly. Here comes the flop. Show us the door card first. Show the door card. Just the door card. It's red. It's two out of three red, but there's no flush possibilities. This is what we call a chop flop. This pot is going to be chopped. It doesn't matter what the two remaining cards are. They have the same hand. It's going to be a split pot, and that's only fitting justice. We still have three players left. Three-handed, both having little pairs. You gotta play it that way. This is good stuff. We're coming right back. Stay with us on the World Poker Tour. Oh, who are man. you anyway? Yeah, who are you? <laughs> I'm the guy that has like King Five, man. You're supposed <laughs> to put your chips in the box. People think this is a game of you against everybody else, but in reality, to me at least, it's a game of me against myself. Can I conquer my self-discipline, my patience? And the more I can control those and be in control of myself, then I can control my destiny. There's Kenna James still out in front with 4.8 million. Jake Minter with 2.5 and Alex Kahana with about a million. He's the short stack. Well, all three of these players, poker history is at their fingertips. Who is gonna take the title that Doyle Brunson held for the last year? We shall see. Action's gonna be on Kenna. He's got six deuce of hearts, throws it away. Round to Jake Mentor. All in. He looks all down in. at ace five of hearts, he goes all in. Right call. And right behind him, Alex calling with the pair of ladies. Jake Mentor has been very quiet, biding his time here. He's been successful going all in every time so far today. But right now, he's in a bit of trouble. If he loses this pot, he's gonna double Alex up and he'll be on the short stack. The third place finisher will pick up about $333,000, whereas the winner will pick up $1,125,000. At this point, it's about survival. Alex picking up a huge hand up against Jake's ace five. Well, Jake Menner needs to get lucky to take Alex out of this tournament. Let's see if his lucky hat is going to be lucky for him. Here we go with the flop. Oh, it's come six, seven, eight. Not bad for Jake. Well, Jake has flopped an open end straight draw. He could all go back to a hard flush and win the pot. So right now, Jake needs a four, a nine, or an ace. Jake Minter would love to sneak out a win here. Maybe we can knock out Alex, and I can be guaranteed a couple hundred thousand more. Alex just sort of smiling. and says, whoa, so many outs for this guy now. Well, the board pairs eight. Did not get it for Jake at this point. Well, we're down to the river. Jake Minter must catch an ace, a nine, or a four to eliminate Alex Connor from this tournament. Alex can't even look. He's just holding his breath. He wants to see if they scream or not. River card coming down. It's a three. You can come back, Alex. You're still alive. Alex Connor doubles up here. We still have three players left vying for this title. Oh, he walks back. How many CDUs have I gotten here? <laughs> Got to be so relieved. Oh, man. This has forced Alex to start smoking, it looks like. I mean, that's what this game will do to you. So Alex Kahana doubling up there. Yes, he is. And Kenna James with about 4.7 million. Alex with about 2.2. And Jake Minter with about 1.4. That action is going to be on Alex Kahana. He's feeling good right now because he just doubled up. He's got a big hand here. East nine. Off suit. He's going to raise it. A half a million. Kenna right. quickly folds. Jake Minter now with ace five. I'm all in. Over the top, Jake goes all in with his ace five and gets a quick call from Alex. 
Alex throws it over. He loves his position. He sure does, because he's got him dominated right now, as we say. It's ace nine versus ace five. So just that quick on back-to-back -back ace fives, Jake Menner could be eliminated if he doesn't win this pot. The former poker dealer from Albuquerque, New Mexico. He is in very grave condition at this point. I like him. He played, he played it perfect. Here comes a flop. Jake needs help. Can he get it? It's come 10, 7, 6. Not the flop that Jake wanted for sure. No. He shakes he, his head. He knows he's a monster underdog here. He's going to have to catch two runners to make a straight or a five. But right now, Jake Menner's in dire straits. The spade, five of spade. Five. Here comes the turn card. It's a jack of hearts. We are down to the river, and Jake Menner must catch a five. And again, Alex over to talking to his girlfriend and his friends and family there. Doesn't even want to look. Here comes the sweat card. It's not a five. Jake Menner will be our third place finisher. That deuce comes off. So that's going to do it for Jake Menner. But Vince, what a nice tournament he plays. A pretty impressive player. I gave you my card. He is a brilliant poker mind. He picks up $333,000. Jake Minter. Well, as he's exiting the arena, you have to wonder if he's thinking, you know, maybe I should take that ace five out of my playing arsenal. I got broke with it back to back hand. What's exciting right now is we are finally in the heads up action. And here come the lovely biker girls. Oh. Look at this. It's a motorcycle with a sidecar oh, oh, oh. full of cash. They're going to pick up the cash, haul it over to the table. A lot of attitude going on out here. Tons of cash. There's over $4 million in cash up for grabs in this tournament. It's come down to these two guys vying for over a million of that money. The World Poker Tour title on the fingertips of both of these guys right now. Stay tuned, we're coming right back. We poker Tour, you're watching the Legends of Poker. We are down to heads up play. The largest field in the history of the World Poker Tour has come down to these two players. Professional player, Kenneth James out of Dana, California. He's up against amateur Alex Kahaner from Van Nuys, California. Who is gonna become the new legend here at the Bicycle Casino. First hand, it's gonna be on Alex Kahana. Kenneth starting out with a chip lead here. He's got about 4.8 million in chips. Alex with about 3.6. It was in the right position. Alex looks down at a queen four spades. Call. And he's going to call. Now, Kenna with just jack five Motown hand. Just give us a flop. So 440,000 in the pot. Let's see the first three. Flop is queen eight four. Eight, four. Alex is going to love this. He's flopped two pair here. Tremendous flop for Alex. Kenna, of course, has nothing. Oh, Vince, look at this. He's reaching for chips. He's betting into him. Two of the delight of Alex. You're not kidding. Oh, got to love it when someone bets into you when you flop two silly pair. There he is. Well, he's going to raise it. I can't blame him for raising here. There's two diamonds on the board, potential straight. If you just call and your opponent hit a gut shot straight on you or something, it'd be devastating for him. No, if, if, and, buts. I mean, sometimes... You want him to stick around? Is he going to chase him away here? Well, $400,000 raise is certainly going to chase him away since Kenna has no hand and no draw. Well, unless he wants to go over the top if he doesn't believe Alex at all. 795 is okay. You have to hit lightning in the jar to win this pot. What I like what Kenna's doing here, though, is watching here so he can gain some knowledge and information for hands that may come up later in this heads-up match. They. But he says, go ahead and take it. He lays it down. And Alex Kahaner takes down pot number one of this heads-up battle. I, I wanted you to call him that one. Hey, it's Fustra. Alex shows it. Wow. It makes Kenna very happy. Now, Kenna James is going to feel very good about laying that hand down. <laughs> Absolutely. You don't show him when you have it. Don't make a guy happy or comfortable at the poker table. I don't like the move. I wanted you there, buddy. I'm sure you did. Nice hand. <laughs> Wait, no, As it is, he closes game. the gap considerably in terms of chip count. These guys are almost dead even now. Action's going to be on Kenna James this time. Kenna James looks down at a very nice hand and heads up play. Ace nine of clubs. Yes, it is. I call. He's just slow playing it, as we say, just calling, 
trying to camouflage the strength of his hand a little bit. Deception is key. Mix-up play. Nicely done here. Now Alex just has Go an 8-5. And he says, give us a flop. True game of cat and mouse going on. 